Hey guys, today we're trying ukulele, but the other one, this new one. I forgot what it's called already. I think it's called the Impossible Lair. Is that what it's called? <laughs> so they made a new one, and unlike being a Banjo Kazooie style 3D World Collectathon, which yeah, yeah, I got the name right, which admittedly last time. I found that game pretty disappointing, to be honest. Uh, they're making I can, what I can only assume is more, probably a more Donkey Kong-style game, since that's the other thing that Rare was famous for back in the day. Besides their open-world collectathon things, was the side-scrolling platformers. I don't know. One way or another, they've gone back. Hopefully, they've pulled it off. This got me by surprise. I wasn't aware they were making more. But I guess yeah. They gotta be working on something. They kept putting ukulele in other games as like crossover fodder, so they're probably planning on using them for more things. Whoa, we've arrived in the Royal Stingdom. Aha, it's the Dudnamic Duo. Capital B, we're here to take you down again. Just kissed his scepter. He's kissing his scepter. And waving to it. Yuka and Laylee, you're here. Help me stop Capital B. He's created a B mind control device. The hive mind. That's fancy. Should we be worried? Yes. We, he will use it to enslave all bees in the Royal Stingdom. The last thing Capital B needs is a larger workforce. I'd love to listen to you lot drone on, but I've got worlds to conquer. Oh. Oi, that nearly hurt us. <laughs> I'm just warming up. Quick, this way. Press A to jump and... Look out for traps! Alright, Laylee. Let's go help Queen Phoebe. I'm definitely already mixing up when Yuka and Laylee talk. There's a hint, because I guess I guess his, his box is green. I guess is the thing. Ah! Got a little span- that's a little spinny. And an attack. Don't see a double jump yet. Ooh, what did I do? So right bumper's tongue. Left bumper's ground pound. Okay, and triggers. Left, le the triggers and bumpers are the same things. Gotcha. Book. Oh, all right, because they transport. They transport from world to world using books, and now it's trapped. So I'm stuck here. This is a different style of music. Do those explode or anything? No, I think they're just... They're just boxes. Oop. Oh. I've made a horrible mistake. Ah, it's a no physics rope. Cool. Seems like they don't want me to go backwards the wrong way, so there's a lot of stuff closing behind me. To make sure that I don't... I just keep going forward. Ah, Boris, my favorite employee. Yuka will never get past you. No, you bashed Boris. There was no other possible outcome this whole time. Uh, try this crushing defeat. They really weren't ready for me to have one roll. <laughs> yeah, I missed again, capital P. Ugh, I don't like that one. Don't say that. You can, yeah, you can jump in midair. Neat. I was finding that out on my own accident, though. Great, you're here. I've rallied my B tally and shield to help us. Drat, the B tally and shield. That sounds useful. But let's see it handle this. Grr, time for B enforcements. Let's see your B tally and cope with real firepower. This is it's like playing Monster Hunter again, Meowster, and the Meowscular Chef. Oh dear. We'll never get past that alive. Do you really need Capital B defeated? Maybe he'd be a good ruler. Fear not, you chickens. Borrow my battalion shield. 
they'll take you they'll take all the hits for you thousands of lives lost just to protect you you assholes take them and stop that creep all right so what's the battalion button whoa we're all powered up come on yuka let's test it on let's test it out onwards they're all dying this shield's amazing I think I think we're just proving all the things that it won't get killed by probably like Mario stars where it runs out based on time or a number of hits well like no, yeah nothing can hurt me I don't really want to tempt fate although it doesn't really feel like I'm losing bees I see one roll off each time I'm not actually seeing their number diminish at all. <laughs> Cheaters. You wouldn't have made it this far without your invincibility life hack. But you're forgetting something. Time for me to activate the hive mind. Yoink. Why are all there, why are the hives full of tiny bees and I'm protected by tiny bees, but these two bees are giant, the two characters? Oh no. Well, I'm boned. Oh wait, oh god, it's inside of it. Oh god, it flew into his mouth. He swallowed that one whole. You can still see it sw flying around behind his, his teeth. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Thanks for warming them up. These battalion shield guards work for me, for me now. <sighs> it tickles, because I swallowed one and there's a bee inside my throat right now. I'll use the battalion and imprison what I don't need. No, the, this predictable outcome where the bee controlling device took the bees, it happened. Now it's your turn to be mind controlled, Queen Fleabee. Queen Fleabee. <laughs> Prepare to become a mindless drone. You monster. Drat, out of power. Wait while I recharge my staff. He'll enslave the royal stingdom. It's up to you now, Yuka. Go kick his behind. But be careful. You have no bee Italian this time. Well, a boss door. Let's just press up to enter and sh shut up. <laughs> oh, the I can't take any more in-universe explanation of controls. I can't. I dig the visuals. I dig the pretty audio and all that stuff. I meant to say visuals are pretty, now the audio is pretty, but they can all be pretty. It's fine. This seems like a neat game. Now the hive mind's recharged. I can whoop your butts. We've beat you before, and we can do it again. You won't be so lucky this time. Embrace yourself. Here I come. Oh. I thought we were in a cutscene for a second there, but I reacted just in time. Kya. Oopsie. Yuka. I mean, Laylee. Or, uh... Uh, which one of you is which again? I don't think I remember. Genuinely unsure. Oop. There we go. That didn't even hurt. I, I can tell it hurt because you're covered in red. You fool. Haha. <laughs> no. Yuka. Laylee. Laylee. Yuka. Fuck. <laughs> it was way easier when they're named after instruments. They named the two characters after two instruments and then they you see them playing those instruments. So it's really obvious which one's named Banjo or Kazooie. But, oh sh shit, that's bad. But naming them Yuka and Laylee are not inherently chameleon or bat oriented, so I have no idea which one's which, I don't remember. And neither, do either of them play a ukulele? This game didn't open with them playing a ukulele, maybe, maybe the last one did, it was, it's been a couple of years I think, since that one came out. They definitely just used the name as King of Banjo-Kazooie for the sake of nostalgia. <laughs> Oof. Was I meant to lose? Quick, don't just lie there. 
You must return to the Royal Stingdom and stop Capital B. Uh, can't we call it a draw? He's powering up the hive mind, which allows him to control all the bees in my world. He'll be able to rule my entire Royal Stingdom if he does that. But that impossible lair is impossible. We don't stand a chance without your bee tallying protecting us. Hmm. I think I can help with that. If I can pull out the chapters with imprisoned battalion, then you can go rescue them. Stand back. Uh oh, it's going to explode. That wasn't very queenly. Or should I say Queen B? <laughs> oh, they're all scattered over an overworld now. You did it. Quick, don't just lie there. <sighs> right, let's start by rescuing a B Italian member from this chapter. Leave it to us, Queenie. We got this. Well, there we go. Save and continue. Sure. Hey, you're back from a minor, minor little interruption. Chapter 1, The Capital Causeway. Switch tonics at any point using the pause menu. Also, tonics exist and do something. Die. Did you summon me? Is that how this works? Oh, you're taking my picture. Oh, were you a checkpoint? Oh, that's creepy. No. Wait, those are some Banjo Kazooie ass things. There's some Banjo Kazooie ass things. Look at them. Dead. Haha, -ha, ooh. Ah. And there's a picture of me on a branch or something back there. What are those glittery noises I'm hearing perpetually? Is there more to collect around here? Did I have to try a platform to that side too? I don't know. I'll agonize over it. Maybe that's just the sound that the checkpoint guys make. What the hell? I should figure out what this does. Oh hey. Eh. Oh wait, are you disappearing? I should get I should get you before you disappear. Let's not experiment. Eh. Eh. Eh? What does my tongue do? I'm not sure. Oh, well, that was pretty straightforward. Okie dokie. Oh shit! I thought I'd, I thought I'd hit the platform from under him. Yep. You this ukulele? Well, I think it's Laylee. Yaley, Yaley, Laylee flying off stresses me out. Because during that boss fight, she actually ran away and was gone. I'm like, oh god. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. Seems like we're learning about every unique icon in this game, basically. Is that, do I have to fight you? Do you hurt me if I don't hurt you? Uh, you, don't, you don't hurt me, it just seems like I have to hit it with an attack. Alright. There's a bunch of different quills that give you a different amount of feathers and they all are unlocked in different ways. It seems like we're tutorializing them all back to back. Ah! So that, that's what I do with my tongue. I don't attack with it, I don't pick up collectibles with it. I used to pick up, like, physics objects. And I was supposed to do it there. Shit. Can I go back to the previous checkpoint? Can I make the item come back? Oh, uh -huh. I was supposed to throw it up there. But there was enemies, and it doesn't come back. 
Oh, this... Okay, yep, this is Rare Wero, right? <laughs> that's the Donk- that's the Donkey Kong barrels. Yeah. I'm happy that, uh... They finally got Banjo-Kazooie in Smash. It was fitting to put rare characters in there. Cause they had, uh... Even though it's not these people, but Microsoft's ownership of rare, I guess. Uh, cause they were, from day one, they had the Donkey Kong level that had the barrels that shoot you out, which I think first did, first appeared in Rare's games. Could be wrong, though. I don't know. I don't know everything. There's a lot of world. I try. <laughs> Can I interest you in hexagons? Can I climb the ladder? Nope. I also can't go back. There's bars over the door now. Are you guys spawning forever? Oop! He's running from me! This big dumb face! Come here. Oh shit. Eh. Eh. Ah. There we go. Trying to run away from me. There we go. So it runs around and leaves a bunch of things and they try to snake back into him and you gotta collect them all probably before a limit runs out and then it just disappears on you. Ah, damn it. My rampant destruction of boxes is my downfall. I'm just destroying them left and right. What? But the door closed on me. What the hell? Oop. That stock sound of like a car of like a car crash or whatever. It's so familiar. Oh, oh no, that's that's number four. I missed number three. It's probably in that building back there or something. Oh. A life unfulfilled. I'll be regretting this on my deathbed. In the let's try a bit of, of ukulele, I for missed a collectible. What does it do? What does it do? It's completely unclear to me. I have no idea. Hey! I got the one up there. Could I have done better, maybe? Is there a wall jump in this game? How do I get... It feels like you can go higher. Yep. Oof. Oh, that makes them they go right down without having to wait for it to fall. Does water does water hurt me? No. Maybe eventually. We're doing the water muffle. Well the water gets muffled when you go underwater. I always like that. Aha! Come here, you little bastard. I was just spewing them everywhere, isn't he? My god. Cause he just... Ra he just rages the quills everywhere, doesn't he? They, they, they look like they had a shorter despawn timer. Like you really have to hound them or you'll miss them. Oh, I've got a reverse... I've got a current pushing back on me! Ah! I did it. There we go. But what does it do? Eh? Oh my god, his mouth is so fucking open. <laughs> it's distressing to look at. <laughs> Alright, so he can just hold on to it. I don't even have to keep the button held. That's good. I can hold on to it until I get to a location where it, it, there's a reason for me to throw it. Your jaw getting sore yet? <laughs> Jesus. Where would I want to shoot it? Is it in here? Can you go through doors? Yeah. Yep. Oh my god, that, that camera angle. Alright, so he can keep it in his mouth continuously. Until I find a reason to use it. We can just hold on to it. That's nice. Even with, He can even slam with his jaw latched on around that thing. He can take some punishment. Do you think this would be painful? 
or it's probably dislocated at this point. Okay, no. Ah, there you go. You can only break it with this, apparently. No, I forgot that that's what that does. No, fuck. I'm bad at platformers. <laughs> no. No, it's gone. No. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oop. I thought I could spin atta attack him better. Yuka, Laylee, Pat, come- No! You shitty coward of a friend. Why can't you stop moving so I can catch you? There's the B Italian. Let's smash him free. Oh, we're at the end. But it's just me now. I've been abandoned. I guess that makes them kind of like the equivalent of Yoshi, because they augment my moveset. And they can only- yeah, I can only do certain things with them. Like, now I- I can still swing. But I can't ground pound. There's probably other abilities we'll get later, like probably a double jump or something. No! Whoa. Don't high-five me, you coward. You abandoned me in my time of need. That music. That music. That caught me by surprise. Hey! One. That's gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. Good luck. Wonderful! You saved a B Italian! That's one extra hit you can take inside Capital B's impossible lair. You could try defeating Capital B again without, uh, with the help from the Rescue Battalion. Or you could search for more chapters in a quest to raise the entire Battalion army. And remember... You can attempt the impossible lair as many times as you like. Come speak to me if you'd like to know more. Good luck. Whoa. That's a different idea for a progression system. What do you think, Laylee? Attempt the impossible lair again? Or go searching for new chapters to save more Petalian? Whatever we do, let's do it quick. I want to be home in time to watch cartoons. That looks kind of like Kazooie. Sweet, off on an adventure, are you? Don't let this creep get in your way. Hmm. So it sounds like you have access to the final level immediately in this game. And what you do is you just try over and over again to beat it. But the, bata the B Italian will protect us like it did last time. But, like, when we did it before, you could visibly see a B coming off of me each time. Like, I was losing them, but they seemed, in they seemed infinite because it was like a tutorial a demonstration. I think that what's going to happen now is we can take one hit for every single one of these we do. And so it's almost like a little like roguelike dungeon. You got a little try to beat where you have like permadeath and have to start the whole thing over if you if you fail. So like crazy speedrunners or whatever might be able to go straight to the impossible layer right at the beginning of the game and just beat it right then and there. Whereas uh, completionists will have a much easier time. But uh, it's ultimately just a way of making all the levels you play mechanically mean something as opposed to just being artificially gated. In this one, you can play as much or as little of the game as you want, and at any point, you can go check out the impossible layer. and if you can beat it, then you can beat it, and the game ends, or whatever. Congratulations. Of course, a lot of us, especially people like me and all that, are just gonna try to play every single level in the game, and then try to beat the final boss, generally speaking. But it's, it's a fun idea, though, the idea of, like, of like rushing it early, and, and uh, seeing if you can handle it without doing any more. How are you going to just taunt me with a weird house? There's just a weird little tent 
music coming out. I can't go in it. Can't roll into it. Can't lick it. Nothing works. Alright. Well, kudos for having- oh yeah, you can see my progression, my mark of shame. Kudos for having a different system than I've seen in the past. This kind of thing. I can dig this style of progression. And it's rather arbitrary, because it's really just, just- everyone wants to just play a bunch of content, so it doesn't really matter that much, but having a- having a uniquely different thing is always appreciated. I wonder if I get a double jump eventually. I would expect to, because I have- I have a- I have a bat. Do <laughs> you think the bat would give me a double jump sooner or later? There you go. There's a ticket. Maybe in order to get the ticket, I need to be able to eh, hit the switch while I'm on this gate, is what I would try to do. So let's look for like a fruit I can shoot over there. Oh, there's a bomb up there. But I have to, I'd have to access that in a similar way, I think. I like having a little world to explore like this. And as we get more abilities during levels or whatnot, we can then come back to all these levels and gain access to different ways to get through them. And access collectibles and all that. Ah. So that thing can be rotated. There's a clearly a breakable block here, but I need some power I don't have yet, I think. And I guess um, at some point I can probably open a- yeah, this looks like a dam that I can probably open and then water comes flowing through here. You think that would destroy the book? Uh, and then doing this will undam the- no, I can't undam the river. Both these directions still block the river. It is clearly a riverbed though. Oh, it's the snake again. Hi, friends. Oh no, it's Trouser Snake. Can't believe they named the character Trouser Snake. Keep it on your wallet, Yuka. Oi, Trouser, get your st your stupid gates blocking our progress. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean this? Oh, that's just a paywall. Yeah, yeah. Yep, my latest business idea is to sure make sure we make uh, sure to make me millions. But we need to pass to find more battalion troops and defeat Capital B. We're on urgent royal business. Ah, uh, why didn't you say? Of course, for royal customers like you, I'll open the paywall for only a fraction of the twitcoin... TWITCOIN cost! What a crook! We know- we know we're your- we're your only customers, Trousers. If you're running short, I hear there are lots of twitcoin hidden in those scattered chapters. You want to unlock this pay of all for one sweet coin? Sure. Let me get that for you, sirs. Sirs? I can't tell if that means Yuka and Lily are both male, or if it's just like, sir, yes, sir, the way you would give to a- you could potentially say to a female officer and all that. Another satisfied customer for Trouser. I don't know. I also don't care that much. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Hey kids, it's me, Vendy. Ah! I mean, ah, it's you. I'm here to save your backsides with my game-changing tonics. That's what those were, gotcha. Now I remember. I remember those, they were pretty useful. What have you got for us, Vendy? Well, let me show you in the tonic menu. This is the tonic menu. Any tonics you find in the overworld will appear in here. You have to buy them first with quills from the chapters, but luckily, this one is a freebie. Press A to unlock one, if you collected enough quills. Try it now, press A. Sure you want to unlock this catch sheet tonic for zero quills? Okay. Laylee panics less and sticks around for longer when she has been lost. Who needs Laylee bells anyway? Quill bonus. Ah, oh, you lose 10% of your quills. Great job. You've purchased your first tonic. Press A to select it. Press A to equip it. Excellent job. 
You've equipped the catchy tonic. This one will mean Lily doesn't scare off as easily inside the chapters, giving you longer to save her, Yuka. What are you saying get scared off, you big chunk of cheese? Wow, thanks, Bendy. That actually sounds really useful. You bet. And there are many more where that came from. If you find one in the overworld, always check back in the tonic menu to see what you found. But remember, they only work inside of chapters. Boo. Come back anytime if you want uh, more, to know more about them. This one just floating there, taunting me. Oh my god, she keeps talking. I made a mistake. Oh god. That's a that's a pretty menu. Yeah, that's a pretty map. I like it. Immediately unselected. No, how do I remove? There you go. Because it turns your quill multiplier into point nine. That means you lose ten percent of all collected quills. Nuh-uh. <laughs> We're just gonna have to tough it out. I wonder if you can make the multiplier higher. I wonder if that's the implication there, or if you can only make it lower. Hmm. Hey there, kids. Come to my deep, dark alley and buy some drugs. <laughs> it's, a, it's a talking sign. You wanna buy a hint? Nah. -uh. Uh, uh Ain't giving you smack. But I don't think you buddy slam those, because I can't jump on top of them. Not the moment, at least. Maybe with a better jump. Yeah, my jump's really restrictive right now. There's a ton of things I just can't do. Hey, I've got over 500. Ooh. I've got a roll. Nope, I can't roll onto that. That maybe you could roll under the gateway and land on here. So I could walk, because then maybe I could jump across to that area. At the moment I just need the ability to climb on top of it. Which I'm not sure that I do. But how about over here? By the way, I know I'm passing a bunch of actual levels. I'm just curious about the overworld and what kind of detail they wanted to hear. Because I've already played two levels. I'm curious about other places. Ta-da! Hey. Now the question is, how far can I make it before it blows up? Yep. I bet this makes you faster. No! Oh, this, let's do this. This is my final challenge of the episode. We need to accomplish this goal. Before I close it out, otherwise we'll be left unsatisfied. No! Don't crash into things. Ah. It's hard to get a feel for exactly the timing. Might not be doable. It's just on the fringe, which is the worst... The worst case scenario is when something seems almost doable. When it's just on the edge. 
That's always the that's always the most frustrating ones because you don't know if you're agonizing over something that's the right way to do it or not. Oftentimes it means that some minor upgrade will make it easier, but you know, what if I want to do it now? God damn it! I'm gonna no, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give up on that. Ah! <laughs> it's so like directly on the edge of possibility, though. It's agony. I think I should be able to just jump on top of here. Yeah. I like this overworld. I can tell just from listening to this that almost certainly Grant Kirkhope worked on this. Because he has like a direct channel to part of my childhood. Ah, oh, no! It'd be very embarrassing to make a declaration like that and then be wrong. <laughs> Not that embarrassing. I'm wrong every day! I'm a professional wronger. Seriously. You get really numb to the idea that, oh no, were you wrong about something when you have a YouTube channel? It's like, oh, you mean the thing I am every time I speak? Apparently. Or at least, at least, at least once a day. I think a crown over a feather might, or quill, I think they're called, because they're chapters and books and all that. I think a feather, uh, a crown over the feather might mean that it doesn't disappear. But I could be wrong about that too. Ah! This might be where I get my satisfaction, though. I might find out that you can go through doors with the bomb. No, you can't. All right, there goes that idea. Damn it. Damn it all. All right, well, this has been Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. They definitely went in a different direction with this one. Seems better. It seems more well-rounded all around than the other one. There was like a, there was really like a kind of we felt like we were, there was like a, a we ran out of money feel to the first ukulele game, Where like the environments felt kind of weirdly barren and incomplete, and there was like checks chunks of them that just looked like cheap, compared like even compared to Banjo Kazooie, not in like graphical fidelity obviously because it's, it's a different generation, but I just mean like there's a, there was a weird feeling that the whole thing looked kind of half finished. And like a bunch of environments and mechanics that just weren't great and just I don't know. Just didn't click for us. We didn't think we didn't think it was all that great. You can watch the videos back then and then come to the con you can go you can go back and watch those videos if you want and then come to the conclusion that it's like, no, it's just Andrew Andrew ruined it. <laughs> Which fine. Uh But yeah, that was one of the few series that we cancelled. Although it wasn't because the game was so bad we had to cancel the playthrough. It was that the uh the recording broke for an entire session, so we lost hours of content, and then we're like, alright, well... This is kind of unsalvageable. It's like the worst case scenario is you lose an entire session of a game, uh, and then what do you do? Like, try to carefully recreate the experience? That's the problem with, uh, that's one of the issues with being a channel that does blind playthroughs of things, where it's like, look at my experience of playing the games, that if you then lose the recording, then you're like, what do I do about that? Oh no. That's more or less the fate that had. And tonic. Hey. That looked neat. You can also kind of tell that these, like with the, with the sheer vibrancy of all this all, you can kind of tell that these are maybe some of the people that worked on Viva Pinata. It's hard to say. That's a, that's what Rare's been up to in the more recent years, but obviously the company was hemorrhaging people, so it's hard to say whether the people of this particular game uh that is an evolu that's a this particular studio that's an evolution of rare uh features the same people or not or wouldn't want proportion or, or whatever but I, I recognize a few things like in that screen there with the uh with me picking up the tonic where i'm like that is distinctly a more recent rare aesthetic than the like nintendo 64 stuff that i'm used to more checkmates adds more checkmates to the chapter dr puzz has a few spares lying around Checkmates. Oh, those are probably the checkpoint guys that give you checkpoints, I would guess. 
Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching like always guys. There's a link in the description to the Steam page if you want to buy this game. And it's also probably on... I think this, this game in particular might be on your platform of choice if you look around. Uh, thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I can preview their game, which they also did for Ukulele last time too. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time.